Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kyle Busch's M&M's Toyota for 2021. As always, take a look at the box as you have the, again the generic 2021 box. Said so I'm really not a fan of these generic boxes because just there's so much empty space on top. I'm kind of surprised that Kyle didn't actually get his own box. Kyle's one of the drivers that still gets his own box as opposed to the generic team box, but I don't know. I guess they didn't want to do that this year. Got Joe Gibbs Racing, Joe Gibbs Racing 30 years, 124 scale stock car. Down the side, you have a render of the car right there. Joe Gibbs Racing, standard finish, flannel racing. Made a total of 1,548 of these things. Standard finish, again, have the 30th anniversary logo, Joe Gibbs Racing. On the back, again, Joe Gibbs Racing, the 30th anniversary logo. 2021 Action Racing Collectibles NASCAR Cup Series, and again, the Joe Gibbs Racing 30th anniversary logo. There's the Copyright and such, if you're into that. And here is the car itself. Basically the same primary design that's been used for the last couple years now. Although this one actually does include the cheat trim brown M&M that they added around the playoffs last year. That's all I'm ever going to call that M&M. They added it in that cheat trim spot right around the playoff time when all three of the Joe Gibbs racing cars in the playoffs just happened to kind of change their designs just a little bit right around that area. Like, it's for cheat trim, but I will say, this is probably the best integration of cheat trim we've ever gotten. Like, it looks cool to have an extra brown m there as opposed to the kind of blank yellow space there. My only complaint is, why in the world have they still not censored this M&M logo? Move it over, come on, put it in the center of the M&M, the brown M&M now. Especially if you're not even going to put, like, a white M&M or anything in that. Like, come on. I hate how it's off-center even more now. I don't know why they keep doing that. But anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. So this design is very iconic at this point. This is basically the first time it has changed since this was first. This version of the paint scheme was first used in 2017. I mean, it doesn't get used that much. Like I said, it is his primary, but they use so many different brands and so many different types of M&M and Mars cars that he doesn't even run that much. This car's only ran like... What, it ran during speed weeks. I think it's come back like at least once or twice other races, and that's about it so far. He's had a lot of cool designs this year. I can't wait for stuff like the M&M's Mix car and the Ethel M Chocolates car and that beautiful Snickers peanut brownie car. There's been some really cool Mars cars this year. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have M&M&M. &M. Got Toyota Camry, number 18, and Joe Gibbs Racing 30 Years. Down the side, you have m has got the same picture of red, although his arm is cut off, where he usually have his pointing arm right there. That's another sign. You think that if they really, this wasn't for Cheat Trim, he wasn't going to still have his arm pointing right there? Whatever. Anyways, got Interstate Batteries, got Doosan, Siemens, Mobile One, Cessna, Mac Tools, Lincoln Welders, NATCA, and Sherwin-Williams. Got Stanley on the C post. And on the B post, you have Toyota, JD Gibbs, Snickers, Twix, Skittles, Pedigree, and American Heritage Chocolates. Has your regular contingencies and such up front. On the back of the car, you got Toyota Camry XSC. You got the line of M&Ms, number 18. You got M&Ms on the deck lid and another row of M&Ms on the roof. This is number 471. Got the same stuff down the other side. The same picture of yellow on this side of the car. Take a look under the hood. So you got Mobile One and Toyota under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid. Roof flaps still do open. And there's the underside of the car, if you want to see that. Like I said, I honestly do like the change. I said, even if it is for cheat trim, like I said, it's still a really cool-looking change, because it really does fill out the car a little bit nicer. Not a whole lot to talk about the car like this, just his new primary yellow car. So this is the first time I bought it in a few years, just because this is the first time it's actually changed in a couple years. Which apparently NASCAR has kind of cracked down on that whole cheat trim area because I think that was Rodney Childers has almost even admitted that that is kind of one of the reasons why Kevin Harvick is not as great this year. Stuart House Racing in general is not as great this year because I guess they were kind of abusing that, which was pretty obvious if you paid attention to the paint schemes, especially on Harvick's Bush car, the way it was always just kind of shaded in that spot. But whatever. <laughs> Some people still kind of don't even realize that this whole cheat trim thing exists. It was just to trick the laser system somewhere around the rear wheel area uh, specifically that area for some reason but 
Again, the fact that all three Joe Gibbs racing cars in the playoffs just happen to change their cars a little bit around that area, and still some people for some reason want to deny that it's anything, I don't know. But like I said, this honestly is the best out of all the cheat trims on any car, because this one looks really cool with that brown M&M. I wish they would add more M&Ms to the car. I wish they would go back to having this big M&M on the roof behind the number, but I don't know why they got rid of that ever. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. There's also, of course, going to be his Roval, not Roval, his Daytona Road Course Clash race version of this car. So if you want a race version of this new, slightly different paint team, you can get that. But remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. If you use the code BWAC, you can get free shipping on any order over $20. Just go check that out if you want anything. But I think that's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Kyle Busch's M&M's Toyota for 2021. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.